Okay, so we'll call the meeting of uh, February 24th, uh, 2021 of the First Nations Relations Committee to order. And first item of business is adoption of the public agenda. So moved. So moved. Thank you. Any okay. dis any discussions or any ads? I just noticed that uh, uh, Director Jules has joined. Uh, oh, good. Super. Yes, Welcome, yes, Stephen. Good morning. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, sorry. Good morning, Kevin. Yeah. No worries. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yeah. It's just I know so many people in your family that uh, it's difficult to keep you all sorted out. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a big family, too. <laughs> it is. Yes, well, glad to have you on board. So on adoption of the public agenda, is there anyone opposed? Hearing none, call that carried. Adoption of the previous meeting, meeting, uh, meeting minutes. So moved. Thank you. Second. Thank you. So moved by Director Kerr, seconded by uh, Director Martin. <laughs> anyway, I'll be, I'll be fine. Any, um, any discussion? Seeing none, any opposed? Adoption is carried. Business arising from the minutes. Any business from the board? Hearing none. Chair's report. Um, only one thing, um, and that was uh, I attended the Ocean Protection Plan last week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three days, there was 412 um, participants. And uh, part of the closing remarks on it identified that 20% of the participants were First Nations. And I thought that was a, an excellent uh, turnout. Um, so there was lots of participation. So we'll have some discussion later at the board meeting, I'm sure. Uh, Director Abram was also uh, in attendance as well. So just a short little one, um, go to H staff reports. H1, Cayuca checklist at First Nations on the regional board. Move receipt. Sorry, I've been moving it in the chat. That's okay. Second. Yeah, it's easier if you, second. If you speak. Thank you. I had seconded by uh, Director Moglov. Um, any discussion? Uh, well, Mr. Sheriff, if I can, I think I'll yep. let Renee speak to it, then I might have a, a few words to add as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, good morning, Chair and Directors. Uh, just wanted to touch base regarding the protocol and um, maybe a gift exchange that uh, would happen on April 14th, the official first meeting that KFCN will participate. And I've been in discussion with um, Cynthia Blackstone from KFCN and uh, they have commissioned two sets of paddles as a presentation gift that uh, would be given to uh, the SRD on, on April 14th. And Kevin will be in attendance, I believe, and to, to present those. And uh, wanted to just touch base with the group around thoughts of uh, a gift in return and to, um, one thing that uh, Cynthia and I did discuss was uh, perhaps a plaque or framed um, item that explains the symbolism of the paddles and how we're you know embarking on this journey together um, that we would have you know a plaque or some type of item like that to go along with the paddles. I just wanted to get the group's thoughts, um, if there was any suggestions or ideas that the, the group had on on a gift. Uh, so, Mr. Chair, if I can just add that, um, and Kevin, I'd appreciate your input on this as well, because um, 
uh, we're just trying to brainstorm some thoughts and, you know, this is a first for us. Don't want to offend anybody. So, um, you know, kind of want to get your input on it. My first thought, now I had approached a number of First Nations in the past about populating our boardroom with, uh, with a, a commissioned um, something carving, let's call it, um, from each First Nation in uh, the SRD. Um, what, what, what does the, the uh, First Nations Committee think about if we offered to pay? Kevin, would that be appropriate? I don't know if the, the, what the directors feel about that. But we don't really typically have much to offer. Now, the, the idea of, you know, framing a plaque or maybe the letters patent to signify that. But we, we really struggled on, you know, what we would return a gift as well. And, and I just wanted to float out there, uh, Kevin, would it be appropriate if, if we offered, you know, to pay the cost of the gift being commissioned? Or is that, would that not be appropriate? Or, or what does everyone think about that? Well, directors or Kevin, I'm I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm already thinking of Kevin as a director. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm not seeing any hands up. Uh, Ron Kerr, Director Kerr. Thanks, Chair. Um, so my my question would be is is with the gift exchange do is the intent for both the gifts to remain at the srd or would it be a gift that they would take back to to their own uh council uh building um so that that that's my primary question is is the intent that they they both stay you know because i, I mean you know, it, it could get uh, pretty full um, in our, I don't know if our, if our boardroom is, is set up like a, like an art gallery. So it's, it's going to be challenging uh, looking down the road. Um, so is, what is the intent? Is it, is it for us both to retain the gifts or for it to go back? Uh, Mr. I believe it was the retention of the gifts. I, I think they were going to provide the paddles and, um, you know, we were just having a chat about providing a gift back to them. Not sure what that would be, but I, I think it would be, uh, it would remain in the boardroom as a symbol of the uh, Keika Chekwesset uh, membership on the board. That's my understanding. You're talking about the paddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about our gift. It would go that way. So they would take it back to their yeah, facility yeah, yeah yeah right so you know to 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 say that i mean i think your words we don't really have anything to send to me is striking in its absence of uh of of content you know i mean we've got significant things that we could send the other way so uh yeah <clears throat> no i i'm open to that just to want to see you know what the the director's thoughts are and what they would like to send back. I'm, I, I don't have many ideas myself, I guess. Okay. So just before I know, I think Renee, I can't see your hand up, but um, I saw you. Um, um, yeah, showing some enthusiasm. Um, Ron, Ron, your hand is still up, uh, but I do have Kevin uh, Jules to um, and Kevin, do you want to um, provide uh, some wisdom or advice, guidance Thanks, for us? I was, I was actually just going to kind of answer Ron's question about whether it, how the exchange would work out. And I, yeah, um, as for as for what what the gift uh, would entitle, I, I am not too sure. Uh, I've never. I've, I've never personally. I've never received a gift from <laughs> from uh, being being in my position yet. But I know that um. But I know I know we do have a a a, a thing in our office where uh, where we do put gifts that we have received, or and um, as well as in our in our new office out here in Campbell River. I'm sure uh, something on our wall would look nice. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> would it would it be appropriate, um, Kevin, to do like your 
the nation is making a, a gift of two paddles. Would it be appropriate to gift two items, one for your office in Campbell River and one for the home reserve? That that is a very very good option. I mean, it, yeah, I think that that'd be great. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty good idea. Super. Thank you. You're welcome, Director Davis. Yeah, I was just gonna say uh, it's interesting that they're gifting us paddles. It, maybe it's symbolic of a journey, and and should we consider something like that in return? Um, Possibly commissioning a carving. I, I, I realize it's uh, fairly short notice given that there's a, a month and a bit before they join, but um, something along those lines, you know, wings or a bird. Or um, When I was elected to council last time, we made a gift to the Mochop Mushlet First Nation and it was a walking stick that was carved in town. So, again, something symbolic of the journey. It's just a thought. No, good, good, good ideas, Martin. Um, where's Renee? Sorry, I, I didn't have my hand up at the time, but okay. I would like to just comment that um, we could make this. So there's going to be two sets of paddles, one for our location and one for KFCN. And the plaque idea that would explain the story of the paddles, uh, we could have one of those designed for each um, set of paddles as a as a gift, like kind of a joint item. They're giving us the paddles. We're providing the story, the plaque that has the story about the paddles um, and have two done for each set of paddles. OK. Kevin, did you I see your hand is still up. Did you wish to respond before I go to Director Colburn? Oh, uh, no, I, I'm not sure how to. Oh. oh, that's how you lower your hand that I, I, yep. I didn't know how, but uh, it's OK. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 I like what I like what Renee said there. It's kind of like you know, we're on the we're in the same canoe now. We're, we're on the same journey, you know. <laughs> yep. Yes, we are. And uh, so, Director Colburn, and then Director Davis. So I thought I had it clear for a minute, and then I'm completely confused again by what Renee Renee's remarks. So we are purchasing or, or getting a gift for KFCN. Correct? That's the conversation that we're having here. Or yeah. are they commissioning paddle? Okay, perfect. So they that's are, going to be my sorry. comment. Is I think that... Go ahead. But David? I, I think, Julie, both are correct. So they have commissioned a set of paddles that they are going to gift us and we are talking about what we can gift back to them and so listening to the conversation here i guess we're talking about maybe um creating a story of this journey representing the paddles in the journey and uh, <coughs> having a plaque that we can uh, provide to the kcfn thank you for that so yeah my comment was going to be if we were looking for some kind of art piece or something like that i think that it would be really appropriate if we were going to do you know the plaque and the, uh, that it would be representative of a journey so um artwork with um you know maybe a plaque with a, a engraved canoe on it or something like that um that's that was going to be my suggestion is is something that is um from us to Cape CFN for uh, representation of the journey and where we've come. So if it was going to be artwork, that would be kind of my suggestion is, is that canoe we're in this together kind of, um, that was just going to be my comment. So if the plaque um, it is going to be what our gift is, um, or if a piece of art is going to be what our gift is, I think it should um, tie in and fit really well with their gifting to us since we are doing this all together, um, full communication and uh, disclosure, right? So that was just going to be my comment. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Director Moglo. 
Thanks, uh, Chair. Um, I uh, I like uh, where Julie was going with this, but I I got the impression that Director Kerr had some ideas as well when he was speaking, and I was wondering if he might share some ideas that he has in terms of this gift. Um, I don't want to put him on the spot, but I got the impression he had some ideas. Um, uh, I actually I don't have a specific idea, but but basically, I mean, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I think culturally that we should be. I mean, I don't, you know, I appreciate the the. Uh, the uh, First Nations art and 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 uh, cultural gift that's coming to us, but I don't think we should. I mean, uh, to me, it doesn't it doesn't feel honest to send back a gift um, that isn't representative of our culture. So Correct. that's that's my my feeling. And I mean, if if we're going to use the metaphor of the canoe or something but i think that we should be looking at it through 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 a different uh we should look at be looking through uh, a cultural lens that is not the same because the whole intent of this is the two cultures it isn't it isn't uh, a mirror okay so that's 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 my thinking no i mean to send a, a send a, a plaque that just identifies um uh, it i mean i i guess that's a, a an easy way around of not not dealing with it but i think it it is a blending of two cultures it's not it's not um okay that's yeah. that's thank my you. my comment good thank you director kerr um director colburn Well, and that's kind of what I was trying to uh, get at a bit um, with my comment was, you know, if we have, I, I think that it should be art, artwork or something like that that's representative of, um, you know, a Western culture, whatever that, you know, happens to be, um, right, that, that there should be, you know, so keeping along the same lines, but not, you um, um, uh, making it representative of us um you know uh, uh if it's going to be something like an art piece or something like that that it would be um a picture uh with you know our environment that we are you know but still representing us and not something that's commissioned from someone who is, who is first nation right okay any further discussion I, i've got some thoughts and ideas that i wanted to weigh in, but is there anyone further on our committee that wishes to talk or staff? And um, so hearing and seeing no other hands, one of the things we used to do, and I'm not sure that it's occurred in the new office yet, but it was a photograph representing each of the board jurisdictions. Um, there was a either a painting, picture, photograph uh, of the jurisdiction, like um, Zabalas and Tassis Gold River, but also the electoral areas. And they were put up in our boardroom, around the boardroom was a representative picture of each of our jurisdictions. And I think that's that was our tradition uh, in, use the term culture, it was the culture of our board that every jurisdiction was represented by either a picture or a painting. Um, so I like that idea that this is recognition of them as being on the board same as we would recognize anyone else on the board. I particularly like the concept of a starting a journey together. I agree that with Director Kerr that um, we are two different cultures walking together. I liked Director Davis's idea of a walking stick 
which could be something that we could have carved with linking hands or two two um, concept two cultures identified on that walking stick but moving forward together and um, that was those are my thoughts one is something for the office that acknowledges and recognizes that was our cultural way of identifying our board jurisdictions and then uh, something that talks about the journey together and starting the journey together whether that's a walking stick or something else that um, would fit both I looked at the plaque idea to me that's just an enhancement with the gift and and I think those that sh should be part and parcel of the gift um, so there is an explanation for each as to what the gift means and uh, yeah so that's my thoughts on it uh mr leach well those are lots of great ideas and comments um however we need to settle on something uh i, I think i think there's merit to everything everyone said um okay. uh, but you folks are decision makers now um yep. I don't think we as staff have any better ideas than what all of you have contributed. I think they're all valuable, but um, uh, I, I think we need to settle on something. Uh, time is of the essence, so if we're going to commission something, uh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, so just uh, to update the board, so the KCFN will officially join on April 1st, but our first meeting is going to be the 14th. Um, we were we we're talking about doing something. We have a lot of uh, technology now in the boardroom during COVID that we've installed and we'll be able to do a kind of virtual presentation uh, that everyone will be able to see. And I, I think um, Kevin's going to likely be here. So so um, I guess my point of that is we don't that have a lot of time. That would um, be on the first. The 14th is our first meeting. So no, I, I, I understand that, but are we doing something on the actual first? No, the plan is to do it on the, the 14th. Okay, so that's yeah. our time frame between now and the 14th. If this committee was yeah. to make a recommendation today, could it go on to the board as a late item today? What I'll do, Mr. Chair, is um, I think whatever comes out of this committee, I think staff will work towards commissioning or preparing that in anticipation of the board supporting that um, just because of the time we could though uh, do a late item new business on the board of course today as well so that's not well, a bad idea either uh, well I'm a little concerned we're already at uh, the 24th of February yeah that yeah. would give us six weeks start to finish which is yeah, yeah. Uh, not much time so, so so maybe yeah later today then uh, uh a comment from yourself as a chair on uh, the motion whatever we come up with here today okay so um director kerr's got his hand up there yep um <laughs> is it something uh new uh ron or it is. did you want to make or did you want to make a motion well actually i had i've just been quickly uh See this uh, director Moglob put me on the spot, <laughs> and my my brain has got clicked into overdrive here. Uh oh. But um, but just kind of distilling all the different all the different comments. Um, I came up I came up with a concept, and and I certainly think six weeks um, it'd be easy to put it together. In fact, I wouldn't mind, you know, uh, leading it and handling it. But the concept would be, um, I, I like, uh, Charlie, I like your idea of a representation from the different areas. And, and, and everybody seemed to feel quite comfortable with wood being, uh, um, you know, uh, appropriate. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, <clears throat> just a minute. But what I was thinking was, 
if we if we were to reach out to all the different communities <clears throat> and electoral areas and get get a piece of a piece of wood from each area and then take it to to a woodworker who would would uh, laminate all the pieces together and then turn it into a uh, for instance, like a, like a plate on on a lathe, okay? But it had wood from all reaches of our regional district um, in it. Then and then there could be a, you know something attached to to that, but it's representation of the full area. Okay, sort of like a mosaic, and then well, turn yeah. Into I mean, it, I mean the, the actual. I'm talking about general concepts, so we don't get yeah. caught up in in the in, details. But yeah. in a general concept, uh, that that would involve everybody in the SRD. It'd be representative of it, and it would be a, an attractive uh, piece to put on the wall. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Mr. Leach, you look a little anxious. And then I have uh... <laughs> no. I, I just wanted to chime in a little bit there. Um, uh, our communications uh, uh, person Elaine has come up with uh, an idea, and then maybe it ties in with Director Kerr's that uh, Alex Whitcomb, the the driftwood artist, um, Ron, would that be something that you're thinking of that we maybe we could? No, no, uh, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about something that is really appropriate and finished. And, and not not uh, something that's screwed together. No, I'm talking oh, yeah. I'm talking about a, a finished piece that is finished in a woodworking shop, and is a, a work of art. Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, um, <coughs> Director Davis, and I. I just wanted to. I'm assuming that you, Martin, even though it says guest behind you. Uh, I have no control over why it says yes. I don't know about that. But, um, <laughs> I I just wanted to speak in support of uh, Director Kerr's idea. It sounds like a really nice one, and uh, you know we could certainly contribute something from this area. And I'll probably be in in Campbell River in the next few days, so maybe I could bring a piece of you wood, for example, because that's mm -hmm. sort of, I wouldn't say unique to our yeah. area, but endemic here. So yes, it is. Um, that would be my only. Um, I think we could just select an, enough wood that represented the whole uh, regional district because otherwise you're going to run out of species. There's 13 people on the board uh, with KFCN, that's 14. Uh, they well, don't have to necessarily all be native species, Charlie. They're rep I think, representative. But I think, but but I think, I think if, uh, as Martin says, I mean, he identifies you mm -hmm. would or yellow cedar or cypress from the Tassis area and I'm thinking if we chose the wood that is representative of our collective area we would have enough alternatives that an artist could do something really well with it and uh, rather yeah. than if I could just we're, getting, we're getting into the yep. weeds in in designing well, it. I think it's concept. So, in other words, if you would like, I can. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four speakers uh, on the list right now. So, do you want to finish, Director Kerr? I'm off. Okay. So, Director Davis. Um. Well, if we do decide to do this, uh, I just want some sort of size specified so that, you know, I don't yep. bring too much. <laughs> right now, right now we're still on receipt, so yeah, um, we want to bring that to a close. And then I have um, uh, Kevin, Jules, and then Julie, uh, Director Colburn following. So Kevin. Yes, sir. It was just a little little tidbit that I picked up in this meeting here. We just so you don't get the wording wrong on on the on on the artwork. It's a KCFN, right? Not, not it's yeah. Not KFN. <laughs> not KFCN. It's how you could check the sit First Nations. Yes. Right. <laughs> not to I heard right. I heard I heard it a couple times in this meeting, so I just figured I'd, okay. I'd say. <laughs> and just before I go to Director Colburn, and while you're on there. 
Uh, Kevin, um, in your culture, if you were to have um, like a large bowl structure, do you have that like as a, I don't want to call it a community feeding bowl, but something that if you were at a feast, there would be one bowl that would, um, that everybody would be able to uh, access food? Mm, no, not really. I mean, that like maybe like my birthday party, <laughs> but no, um, no, so not, nothing, that, not, not that yeah. I'm aware of. No, um, I do know like, like at a potlatch or a feast, would there be a, there would be like a like a platter or something, but I don't know about right. a bowl. Yeah. Okay. No, I, that, so that uh, platter idea would be something that I was looking at some concept that could bridge both cultures. Mm -hmm. Director Colburn. Just speaking in favor. Um, absolutely. That, uh, I think that it's a great idea. I think it's a good concept. It's something that could be uh, on a on a shelf or alternatively mount mounted on a wall. Um, I really like it. And yeah, I'd just be interested in science specifications. So following up with what Martin said. So um, yeah, if uh, somebody could we're on receipt. So uh, if there was a motion made, I would definitely be in support. Yeah. So anybody for any other comments? Uh, Director Moglov, do you have anything? I I, I just wanted to say oh, that I, I think that's uh, I think Ron's idea is a really good idea about um, both the different pieces from from each of the districts. I think that's really awesome. Okay, Director Moglov. Yeah, I like the concept. I think it's a really good idea. Okay. Director Davis. I was just going to make the suggestion for Campbell River. If you want something that's sort of unique or endemic to your area, consider Arbutus, because I think that's sort of the northern extent of the range there. Yep, it's um, actually down Mushland Inlet. That too, I guess, yeah. Yep. Um, so, um, seeing no other hands up on receipt. Is there anyone opposed? Receipt is carried. And a subsequent motion for direction to staff, perhaps on. Uh, I see three main things. One is a gift to them that would go back to uh, their home reserve, the one being at their office here so that they're able to celebrate the plaques, uh, which is staff's idea, um, to have something that explains about the gifts, and, uh, and then to actually get into a, a, a particular gift idea. So if we can do a motion that's got those three things covered off, think it would be appropriate so, so if, I, if, I'm, hearing, take, if I'm hearing you correct uh, Mr. Chair then we'll do uh, a couple plaques um, that could represent the letters patent um, something that signifies it and then uh, commission a, a piece of art that includes uh, wood from every uh, community in the regional district two pieces two pieces okay <coughs> like two pieces of of commissioned work, one for okay, yeah, yeah. one yeah. for the village office that can be shared with all their people, and one that would be in their place of business. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Anyone wishing to take a stab at it, Director Davis? I see your hands up. Uh, I didn't realize my hand was up, but sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'll make the motion that we uh, uh, create two plaques, one, one to go to Kiuka Chaklaset First Nation Band Office and, and one for SRD. And then create two, sorry, is it two? Uh, yeah. Commission yeah. carvings, one for each office using, using wood, from the various uh, 
municipalities and electoral areas? Yep. Is that what we're aiming for? Yeah. Well, I would think representative <laughs> of our of our. Um, okay, within the on a regional district. Right. So, wait till Edith gets caught up. I think that accurately represents or gives direction to us about what the um, committee wants. Okay. okay. So you want um, a little bit more fleshing out and nope. fall, and and that? Uh, I think that's the... good. It, that's good for me. Two plaques and two commission pieces of art using wood from each of the areas in the SRD. Okay, and uh, what about representation and in, in our office? Yeah, no, I think that, I think we got enough here. Uh, I'm I'm happy with what you have up there. Okay, do you know what as and I'm taking a little latitude before I go to uh, Director Davis and Mo Glove. Um, what has happened with all of the pictures we used to have of each of our jurisdictions? Uh, well, I don't know about everyone, but there's some of them spread out through the office. I know I have one of Tassis outside my office. Um, we and, still have uh, chair. They're, yeah. they're still all on, on the premises and display mostly on the third floor. Okay. Yeah, because I was just thinking that that is, I always liked that because anyone that is a guest that comes into our boardroom also gets an opportunity to see the different constituencies. So. And that was our tradition for years. Uh, anyway, okay, so the, we have a motion that two plaques could be created, one for KCFN and one for the SRT, and the two commission carvings for each office. Or are we talking about two commission carvings, one for each of their offices? Yeah, two and two. Two and two what? Thanks. It, two it's not. That's what I was getting. It's not clear. The second part of it. It's not right. two commission carvings. One for KCFN and one for the SRD. It's two commission carvings. Both of them going to KCFN for two different offices there. That's my oh, yeah. understanding of what was being discussed. Mine too. Mine okay. as well. Okay, so we're clear. And yeah. if I could just clarify, has this actually been seconded yet? No. I'll no. second. Okay. So I was going to put you down as seconder anyway. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I just need clarification that on the plaques, uh, maybe I didn't hear that, uh, maybe I missed something, but what are the two plaques? I think we do need some clarity on that. Whether now there was some story about uh, or some discussion about creating a story, or again, our our one of our suggestions was to uh, put the letters patent into a plaque okay. that, that identifies it. Uh, we're open to either or whatever the, the committee wishes. Okay, Director Moglov. Okay, and then the second part of my question, I guess, is okay, th for the two commission carvings, as I understood it, it it's is there is there an office in Campbell River that a, a carving yeah. would go to? Okay, so we're just sort of clear on that. Uh, I like the idea of framing the letters patent. I think it's sort of a I mean, personally, I think it's sort of uh, something that commemorates a very significant um, event. So I do like that, and I like having the idea of having one plaque at the SRD office and one at KCFN. Um, so that would be my my preference, and I think it's easy. It would be easy to do. Well, you know, obviously. So yeah. so subject to whatever anyone else says, um, I like that idea, and um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Okay, Director Colburn. I'm just wondering, uh, as this is possibly going to the board today, I'm, I'm thankful for uh, Director Mogul's um, comments about kind of cleaning it up a bit, but I'm wondering if we want to add uh, in after that two platter type commissioned carvings for KCFN go to because otherwise we may get in the weeds at the board if they don't realize our intent so if uh, do you want me to make an amendment i'm just kind of pulling the group if that's our intent if that's what we want to stick to or if we should just leave it as this right 
I want to be as clear as we can with the board. Okay, well, I just want to get some discussion going on this so we can talk about it and then we will go through the motion and amendments can be made where you think it's necessary. Is that okay, Julie? Absolutely, thank you. That was kind of what I was looking for was a little bit okay. more of, yeah, let's make a real clear so, for the board. So to make that really clear to our uh, CAO, uh, my understanding from the staff report and very early on in our discussion was that there would be there was a need to do two plaques one for each of the paddles that would talk about what the paddle represented and what it was for that was i thought we had that was one of the plaques <coughs> pardon me the other thing is um, a signing ceremony and when i've been at Hot latches in the past. Um, there is usually copies for each of the parties. Like I, I was there to witness the treaty between them, Maliloqua and uh, uh, Newhawk, that put an end to the war with 300 and some odd years ago. And they had a framed, uh, framed copy of the peace treaty for each nation, and. Uh, it was all all done up and I think as a part of the signing ceremony which I'm assuming we will all be signing on to our um, letters patent or a certificate which would be framed to celebrate the actual event am I correct there David or uh, well um, I, I think and again we're open to uh, to whatever the committee's wishes are but the I think Director Kerr had a good point in that if you want to represent your culture, it's not a mirror. And, uh, you know, I personally think uh, it was a good comment by Director Kerr is that we're local government. Um, I think uh, the story, um, you know, again, it's up to the committee, but I think it would, you know, likely be better to have plaques of the letter patent that represents kind of what our culture is in government. And then we would exchange uh, those as a gift, and we would exchange the carvings. I don't believe Tom. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's, there's going to we're going to sit down and sign anything. I think the letters patent will be issued to us um, prior to our April 14th meeting. So we would kind of instead of a signing, we'd have an exchange of this uh, letters that, patent. That is, there's really nothing for us to sign to make this official. So, so I would humbly suggest that. We create okay. uh, a couple plaques uh, there that they're the letters patent. Uh, we can have one for the SRD and one for the KCFN. And then we will also uh, exchange gifts. We will receive the paddles and we will give the uh, KCFN the uh, the art that we've created, the two pieces. That's how I see it okay. based on the discussion that I've heard. OK, so. In light of Director Colburn's comments, that it be two plaques of the letters patent be created. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think so maybe Edith can add that in. You there, mm. Edith? Yeah, she's the only one. Yeah. Of the letters patent. Okay. Right. Now um, the two commissioned carvings or would you say artwork uh, either or um it's fine with me okay. but the understanding is we'll have two commissions they'll be identical they'll have pieces of wood from every area and um and uh I, there'll be some artistic creativity uh, uh, license okay. there and um so director kerr has you know volunteered maybe he can uh, help uh with some input on that how about um, commissioned um, platters? Uh, well, I like. Uh, I don't. I don't yeah. think we should leave it wide open. Um, and I think that the uh, the more specific we can be for taking it to the board, the better. Otherwise, we will have a long discussion with every 
everybody jumping in as to what their idea was. So the more specific we can be, I think the better off we'd be. And it provides you with good clear direction. I so what's the board it. board feel? And I'm just going by what Kevin said that um, at a feast or or potluck yeah, they that's would it. have platters. But let's hear from uh, Director Kurgan because it was his original idea. Yeah. And thank you, Chair. Um, yeah, I mean carvings uh, carvings leaves it open. It doesn't get too specific and and may may be appropriate rather than really. You know, I mean, there's there's, you know, always the opportunity for these kind of things to go into the weeds really quick. Um, I would I would suggest if we didn't, if we were going to be more specific, that we use the term uh, turn lathe wood platters. So that's very specific as to what they would be uh, using wood from various municipalities, electoral areas. So I think that really defines the concept. It doesn't give any flexibility if there's challenges, but it does, it would uh, define it. Yeah, and I think it would be good specifics for the staff because we are going to be relying on staff to carry the ball in this, correct? Yep. Yes, um, and if we could um, uh, lean on Director Kerr uh, for a little assistance, uh, I'd appreciate that. He has uh, a little more art knowledge than I certainly do, that's for sure. Yeah, I'd certainly be glad to uh, to uh, contact the um, the woodworkers and uh, and get the wood together and, you know, take it on. So I, I wouldn't mind doing that. Appreciate that. Yeah, okay, so... Great. Um, Director Kerr, you had talked about turned. Turned lathe wood platter. Actually commissioned. Commissioned, yeah. Either. Commissioned was fine. Yeah. Sufficient guidance and direction from staff and through to Director Kerr. Yeah, that looks great. And um, then if the committee has confidence in the chair to explain that to the board in a couple hours, we're happy with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> anything on size? No, don't 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 get into that. Okay. Um, if I could just make a point, uh, if yeah. we're going to supply wood, we, we want some sort of idea of what we're bringing. So <laughs> that's I, I think right. what we'll what we'll do is we'll leave some of that up to uh, Director Kerr. So if I hear what you're saying, uh, Director Davis, um, and maybe we could do this at the board meeting today um, and just ask for a specific direction if you think you would it be something that you would want to see used um if i can mr Jure, i think yeah. maybe what we'll do is uh we'll have director kerr fan something out to certain directors and say hey this is what i'm looking for and and coordinate those directors bring it in and that's probably the easiest thing to do okay then uh if you want another that I don't. I don't think we need to. We'll. No, no, I. If I can finish, please. Sure. That director Kerr be requested to coordinate those efforts with the other areas, and I think that's an important thing. I would not expect director Kerr to go on off on a on a mission, and that we have that straightened out at the board today. Sure. As a mover, I'm good with all this, so <laughs> just <Yeah>. so you know. <laughs> uh, I would just say coordinate efforts, um, if I can, uh, with the team. various directors. Yeah. It's a team effort. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I think it's, it's something, in my opinion, that Director Kerr would need to be able to do it yeah. the right yeah. way. 
Okay. That's Is there great. any anything anybody wants to amend, change, or do differently? Seeing none on the motion. It's before us. Is there anyone opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. And uh, a subsequent, do we need to um, that this be taken to the board meeting today? Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll talk with the chair and I'll get a, a late item here uh, to be brought forward for today. Okay, so as another subsequent motion that it be carried forward to the board. Uh, if you want, I'm okay doing it uh, independently. So I'll, I'll just talk to the chair and get it on there as a late item and then have uh, Director Cornfield speak to it when it comes up. Okay, is everybody fine with that? Seeing none, our next item of business is the proposed addition to reserve. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I can just cut in here, if you'd indulge me a little bit. I'm just looking at the time. Um, yes. It's 1024. We have municipal services at 1030. I, I think there's uh, a substantial conversation to be had on this report, and um, I'll, I'll contaminate it with a couple things. Well, One, we're, we're dangerously close to uh, hiring a First Nations Relations Coordinator. Right. Um, I anticipate we'll be having regular meetings at First Nation every month and that that person can be in place okay. for next month's meeting and maybe we could defer this item if it's... I, uh, if, if I may, the purpose yeah. of adding this on, which I'd asked to be it to be referred to the First Nations by the board, was not over the actual item itself of the add to the reserve, but rather the information that was in that add to reserve from the federal government is the entire policy with the reserve process and it's current and up to date and my idea was to ensure that this information was included at the director's portal which was one of our original committee functions was to have that baseline information there i did not anticipate that we were there to talk about the um, add to the reserve that's already been at the board table right yeah i think so, the board uh, referred so, it to both the first nation and the electoral area right and our point was the uh, the fact that the whole policy is there and needs to be added in on our information portal so I still think we can do both items here before 1030 and the first and the municipal services. Sure. So, but I leave it up to the board. We have the one recommendation that the report be received. And so moved. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Hearing I, none. I, no, I do. I, my hand's up. Oh, OK, sorry. It's Go more ahead. of a question like in the in the letter, it talks about local governments providing any technical or, or issues that they might have. Okay. Which body makes the resolution to send to ask for a staff report on any technical aspects? Would that the be board. this committee recommending to the board or, or can that be done at the board or has it been done? I, I don't recall. Mr. Leach, so it would uh, I think the intent generally would be that this committee would make those comments, recommendations, and forward them to the board for a resolution and endorsement. That That's what typically would happen. So um, the same with EASC, it, it was referred to EASC. So EASC is likely going to make recommendations from the board and, uh, and, and those would uh, presumably go forward. So, um, but again, I didn't understand the intent of uh, Director Cornfield well, referring it to uh, the the First Nations Committee. So. Well, there's two, like there are two different issues here. One is the immediate issue of this particular uh, application for an addition to reserve, which I do think it's incumbent upon the board to get information from staff as to are there any technical issues that we should be aware of and send on to the feds. There's the second issue that counselor or that director 
Chair Cornfield has mentioned is the whole addition to reserve policy as it stands and you know what it's all about. So there are two different issues. But on the immediate issue of this one, I do think it's incumbent upon us to make a recommendation that the the issue be referred to staff for a report on t the technical aspects, any issues that we should be aware of. So is there a seconder for that? Well, I think we still <laughs> I know we're still I will on make, I'll make that motion once we finish with receipt. Okay. Thank you. Director Colburn. I was going to defer it to the next meeting. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Um, so I'll make that motion. Well, we're on, we're on receipt. And, uh, <laughs> okay. The other thing is that, well, there's timing issues. I, I don't see deferring it. I think Councilor or Director Mo Gloves is, is appropriate. We're not, and I go right back to our terms of reference for this committee. We are not a doing committee. We started out being someone that would provide advice and guidance for the board as a whole but we're not there to actually do things and that mandate has not been changed as of yet that i'm aware of and once we get our staff person on and uh, then we can look at that uh, mandate and that would be up to uh, at the future uh, first nations relations committee for discussion and once we have the staff person and sitting down with our CAO and figuring out what our role would be and then taking that back to the board and having it done. But um, yeah, I go back to our original terms of reference. So on receipt, is there anyone opposed to receipt? Hearing none, item is received subsequent Take it, Director Moglo. I think that uh, Director Colbert was going to ask to have this matter deferred to the next meeting, and I it's I ten thirty already, and I think it's important that it be deferred. I've got I've got ten twenty eight. Thank you. We've got two oh. minutes left. Ten thirty. Ten thirty. I'm going by my watch, and I'm chairing. Ten thirty one. Um, I'll move that this you matter be deferred to the next our next meeting. Second. Second. Thank you. Anyone opposed? Carried. Item my correspondence. You want to refer this one to? Sure. Well, someone make a motion. Motion to defer from Davis. Second, Kurt. Thank you. Discussion. Appropriateness, time or place. Nothing. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Termination. Move so termination. Moved. Thank you. Seconded by Davis. Thank you. Anyone opposed? Good. Meeting's over. <laughs>